In this episode of Video Fashion News, we're looking at stylish, surprising, and sophisticated collections that bring an artful approach to spring 2021. In London, Victoria Beckham presents her effortlessly chic collection in the Victoria Miro Gallery. Then, step into the Video Fashion Vault for a special runway moment with a Spice Girl star. It was hard, and do you know what? When I turned around and walked up, I thought, everyone's going to be taking pictures of my bottom. And I'm thinking, oh no, and you can't exactly sort of, you know. Helen Mellon focuses on bold details and handcrafted accessories in a pared down collection. I've done everything in white cotton. I've added a few fabulous accent colors to the range. Alexandra Mora digs into her archives, distilling the brand's signatures on their Milan runway. Plus, step into the Louis Vuitton Foundation in Paris to discover the exhibition celebrating the work of legendary photographer Cindy Sherman. All that and more on Video Fashion News. For spring 2021, designer Victoria Beckham crafted a collection rooted in reality. The pared down collection debuted during the COVID-19 pandemic in a video shot in London's Victoria Miro Gallery. Beckham's signature tailoring, vivid color, and modern silhouettes were interpreted for today's woman. The collection was ripe for current times, offering a wardrobe that was effortlessly chic. Hemlines were elongated and shapes were supple. Fluid dresses were presented alongside tailoring that was soft and relaxed. Neutral colors were matched with lively shades of lime green and purple, as well as leopard print. A sophisticated yet relaxed collection for a woman who wants to dress up during lockdown. Now, Step into the Video Fashion Vault for a special Victoria Beckham moment, this time on the runway. Oh, 
London Fashion Week sizzle when famed Spice Girl Posh Spice, aka Victoria Beckham, made her runway debut at Maria Brock Vocals Fall Show. It was hard, and do you know what? When I turned around and walked up, I thought, everyone's going to be taking pictures of my bottom. And I'm thinking, oh no, and you can't exactly sort of, you know. Oh, she's fab. I love Victoria. I think she's great. The perfect muse. Perfect muse. A bit short, but you know. A native of Turkey, Grab Vogel was eager to test the London waters with her sexy separates. London Fashion Week is hugely international and I think it'll be great over here. It's about time London had a bit more of a, a sort of fuller flavour, really. Designing her own label since 1993, Rock Vogel was presented with the British Apparel Export Award for small business last year. After a steady success and an international following, Maria took her collection on an exotic path this season. Well, the whole inspiration was zingara. It's an um, Italian word for gypsy, so it's an eclectic mix of, of colour and texture and, and fabrics and things. And it's, it's taken from lots of different ways of travelling, and it's about the whole free spirit. So um, I like to mix everything together, and I think the whole mixture of those sort of soft spice colours also with, um, with black and then with the hot lime and pink, I think they all work well together. I spent a long time trying to source the right um, lace because I wanted to just have this whole sort of idea of chiffon threading through to sort of pull the very delicate um, chiffons and we found some beautiful colours. It's like a sort of olive and like a sort of burnt ruby um, colours and it just looked great. about hemlines anymore. It's about how you want to mix things and put things together for you to make yourself as, as best you can, you know. It was good fun and the dresses are amazing and, and I'm freezing so I'm going to go and put the jeans back on now. It's brilliant and it's really happening. It's not just about fashion as art anymore, it's about clothes you really want to wear. So my fabulous range this season has been called All Dressed Down and Everywhere to Go. I've called it that because during lockdown we all dressed down totally. So the, the most exciting thing is that it, it is a dressed down range, but you know you can dress it up however you like. Um, there's lots of white, I've done everything in white cotton. I've added a few fabulous accent colours to the range. Um, lots of dresses this season. I've done a very tongue-in-cheek hazmat suit, which I'm not too sure how it's going to be read, but I had to put that in because of what we've all been through. I think that the range is a very dress up or dress down range and I, I think everyone's going to feel very comfortable in it. It's got some fabulous South African influences in it um, from the house that I saw in the Trans Sky over 20 years ago 
to our fabulous um, South African artist, Mary Sibande. You'll recognize some of Mary Sibande's work in there as well. I don't necessarily have a start and an end to anything that I do. You know, I pick up ideas as I go. You know, I can walk past somebody and see they've got a fabulous pocket on their dress or pants, and I'll take a photograph of that, and that'll be an inspiration for me. So it's ongoing, and what I work on is always classic. So there's no date, there's no time, and yeah, my ranges, I just hope, last, you know, and stand the test of time. I think like every single human on this planet, I'm so looking forward to the end of COVID-19. Um, we don't know at what level we're at right now, whether we are a tenth of the way through it, halfway through it, but I'm so looking forward to that. And then on a more exciting level, I'm so looking forward to everyone's reaction towards this new range. And I'm so looking forward to putting that onto my website and into my shop, can't wait. The thing that I care about the most goes straight to people. Um, that'll go back to my staff, that'll go to my customers, that'll go to my suppliers, to the people that I supply. So it's people, I just love people. That is what makes my heart tick, that's what makes my business work. For spring 2021, Alexandra Mora looked inward, drawing on her brand's past in order to move forward. Mora explored the label's archive patterns, stock fabrics and materials in a search for the essence of the brand. These essential characteristics were refined and edited into the season's sophisticated and striking runway. The collection played with deconstructing classic pieces and manipulating fabrics. Feminine and masculine elements were mixed and matched in surprising ways. A sporty, urban aesthetic was fused with loose silhouettes and frilly detailing.
Mora's signature play with volume and bows was applied throughout. The collection had an avant-garde spirit that was nevertheless grounded in a contemporary mood. This collection is about revival. It's about newness. It's about evolution. It's about going back to who I was, because I've mixed it with no no nostalgia and also paying homage to my mother. I've gone back to my baby album and it really evoked certain emotions that um, I was able to translate into my design process. For instance, I've got a t-shirt that I've printed that has got, um, it's my, my mom and I'm like literally, you know, on her back, you know, as a baby. So I've printed that picture on a, on a t-shirt. And I've, I've, the, the slogan is myth of origin. I feel like as Africans, we don't really have proper history, you know, um, in terms of um, our, our recorded history. We truly don't really know where we origin from. So the myth of origin is my title for this collection. Where I start with, uh, you know, where I, with my design process when I design for the next season is um, honestly I look to the source, you know, to the source of the bigger source of the universe. So that is my still time, and I love nature. I love going into nature and just, you know, uh, just to sit still and listen to the sound of birds, listen to just nothingness. So that really helps me to get inspiration because something just comes. I don't believe that sometimes, okay, sometimes obviously you would be walking or maybe visiting an area, you find something that is speaking to you at that moment and you were like, wow, okay, this I can relate to. Can I translate in, into something that maybe it can be commercial viable? Yeah, um, so that's what I, I, I find my inspiration from that. My thoughts on sustainability is that uh, we believe so much that you know the longevity of the business is what keeps us going. We've been operating for the past 18 years, and I would love to see this business, you know, passing on from generations to generations. And um, also, it's very important to bring in you know, innovation and um, to revive, to bring revival into the business, not to just be known for a certain aesthetic bring in color, bring in vibrancy into the business, bring in newness. Hence, it's very important for me to find my me time and be still and, you know, because I feel like when you do that, you clear out your consciousness and every clutter that is because life is about noise there's so much noise and creativity doesn't need noise so that for me it helps to keep the machine rolling I believe that we're given different um, maybe a few callings it's not just maybe in the fashion design, maybe I'm able to go and nature somebody out there, maybe in charity or like giving back, developing someone. So with, with the design, I mean, there are many times where I really like wanted to give up, but something bigger will just come, will just show itself 
on the doorstep. So that that has really been my drive, my you know my drive each day. In Paris, the Louis Vuitton Foundation staged an exhibition celebrating the work of famed photographer Cindy Sherman. The exhibition was split into two sections, the first a retrospective of Sherman's work from 1975 to 2020. The second section was an exhibition titled Crossing Views, which displayed rarely seen works from the museum's collection, selected in collaboration with Sherman. The chosen pieces reflected Sherman's work and the theme of portraits and self-portraits. According to the co-curator, the retrospective displayed many aspects of Sherman's art and personality. Since it was organized both chronologically and thematically, the major themes that inspired Sherman were explored throughout cinema, fashion, and popular culture, as well as historical paintings, fairy tales, and clowns. Cindy Sherman, uh, Cindy Sherman often says, I don't do portraits. I don't do self-portraits. I do characters. This brings to mind both real-life people as well as movie characters which occupy much of the popular imagination. An interest in fashion was natural for Sherman because she disguises herself in her photography. She uses all the clothing she can find, whether thrifted, garments she makes herself, or clothes from great designers who have their own signature styles. Sherman deconstructs glamorous archetypes as well as the beautiful clothes that are lent to her. The clothes are no longer recognizable as she shows the sordid, burlesque and grotesque side of her subjects. This exhibition is relevant today because at its heart is the issue of identity, which is something that concerns everyone. Sherman's work questions the fluidity of identity, of gender, and asks, who are we deep down? That's a wrap on this episode of Video Fashion News. Tune in next time for another fashion experience.